On October 9th last year, energy detectors on telescopes in space and observatories here on Earth were suddenly blinded. A bright signal had just swept through Earth after entering the solar system from somewhere out in deep space. Travelling at speeds of millions of kilometers per hour, the signal triggered sensors across the world. This was no ordinary signal. It now appears that it was from one of the most powerful explosions in deep universe that had raced through time. The wave that finally hit Earth on that day of October 2022 was the brightest burst of energy to occur since human civilization began. This was a gamma ray burst, a wave that emerges when a star collapses under its own weight as it runs out of fuel and forms into what is known as the biggest and the baddest villains of the universe, a black hole. My name is Shibu Tripathi and this is The Universe This Week. Months after the wave swept through the solar system, scientists have finally revealed just how bright it was and we now understand its scientific impact. They have termed this burst BOAT, the brightest of all time. Astronomers have used NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and Russia's Konus instrument on NASA's wind spacecraft to analyze the burst that traveled through our solar system and went onwards in its journey. The signal had been traveling through space for nearly 1.9 billion years before reaching Earth which shows the vastness of the universe as it continues to grow. Analysis of the data revealed that the wave was the result of birth of a black hole, as a massive star bigger than our own sun died. So what are these gamma ray bursts? Gamma ray bursts were the biggest mystery in high energy astronomy and were first discovered in the late 1960s by US military satellites. These satellites were then on the lookout for Soviet nuclear testing in violation of the Atmospheric Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. The gamma ray detectors on board these satellites picked up bright bursts of energy. They were coming from beyond our solar system. It was only later that we found that these bursts were the result of the death of a star. When a star much more massive than the sun runs out of fuel, its core suddenly collapses and forms a black hole. When astronomers delved into the nuances of this phenomena, they found that there are two types of GRBs, long duration and short duration. While the long duration bursts last anywhere from 2 seconds to a few hundred of a seconds, short duration are those that last less than 2 seconds, from anywhere from a few milliseconds to just about 2 seconds. Our own sun, which is 4.5 billion years old, has a finite life. It is currently in its comfortable middle age, fusing hydrogen into helium and generally being rather stable. It will reach a maximum temperature at approximately 8 billion years of age. Then it will cool down and increase in size becoming what is known as a red giant star. At the age of 1000 billion years, the sun will reach the end of its life and will potentially collapse into a black hole. But don't worry, hopefully we will be long gone by then. As matter swirls towards the black hole, some of it escapes in the form of two powerful jets, each rushing outward at almost the speed of light in opposite directions. Astronomers only detect a GRB when one of these jets happen to point almost directly towards Earth. And that's exactly what happened on October 9th last year. When a signal of this strength is picked up, it is widely believed that remnants of a brightening supernova, the explosion from the star's death, will be found a few weeks later. But so far, it has not been found. NASA said that one of the reasons is that the signal appeared in the part of a sky that is just a few degrees above the plane of our own galaxy, where thick dust clouds can greatly dim the incoming light. The signal offered an unprecedented opportunity to gather observation of the afterglow and to test how well our models reflect what's really happening in these jets. The team used data from Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope to build a model and compared it with those from the Russian team working on Konus instrument. The gamma ray burst was so powerful that it will remain detectable for years, providing a unique opportunity to track the full life cycle of a powerful jet. It also enabled astronomers to probe distant dust clouds in our own galaxy. This was the closest known long gamma ray burst, whose initial emission lasted just over 2 seconds, and is the only 7th gamma ray burst to display X-ray rings. The signal reveals that out there in the vastness of open space, there are things happening that we have no control over. There are new stars forming every minute, black holes originating and most of all, our universe is expanding as we speak. As more information flows from the signal that slammed Earth last year, we will be here to tell you all about them. For now, that is all in this episode of The Universe This Week. Like, share and subscribe to India Today for more such science videos and follow me on Twitter for daily science coverage.